Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be an updated natural hair routine because a lot has changed in my hair. <laughs> so I dropped oils and butters about two and a half years ago, almost three years now. No oils, no butter on my 4C hair. And it's crazy to even say that out loud. It means that time has flown by. It means that you've been around for a while. And if you've been around, then you've seen my entire journey. However, things have changed. I just don't like what I'm seeing in the natural hair scene, especially around the no oil and butter thing. A lot of women have dropped oils. They are experiencing a lot of damage. And instead of that being taken care of, you know, the professional guiding us since they started this whole thing, they choose to move in ways that I don't approve of and telling people that this is healthy hair, but we're looking at it like, huh? I beg to differ. So I think this video is well overdue for me to kind of share how I've been moving with my hair routine and what I've been doing. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Well, let's get into this one day routine my routine is actually quite simple these days and depending on how i choose to wear my style that week it can be pretty fast there are a few steps that i no longer do such as pre pouring my hair i never thought i'd even say this out loud but one of the main reasons i used to pre poo was to kickstart the detangling process and remove shedded hair well i find that i can do that just fine by letting water run down my hair and gently detangle it with my finger this time around my hair was already in some flat twists so instead of taking them out outside of the shower i just let my hair absorb the water as i gently take down the flat twist in the shower this is something that i recently started doing when taking down my styles especially if it's been about a week or so of wearing my hair in flat twists but definitely not something i would recommend if you've been in protective styles for an extended period of time and your hair is matted of course use your own discretion when it comes to your own hair after taking down the flat twist and letting my hair absorb the water it is time to shampoo My scalp does very well when I cleanse it and cleanse it well. This is another reason why I no longer pre-poo. It isn't so much because of my hair, but it's because of my scalp. I used to deal with a lot of scalp issues, such as flakiness, itchiness, and all of that stopped when I stopped oiling my scalp and just wash and keep it clean. It only itches when it's letting me know it's time to wash my hair. So when it's been over a week, my scalp will give me a little indication. So I go ahead and shampoo my hair twice. I like moisturizing shampoos, maybe an all-purpose once in a while, but my sweet spot is moisture. Conditioning has always been one of my favorite steps when it comes to my natural hair. I don't deep condition very often anymore unless I feel something is off or it's needed, but I definitely love a good conditioning session. I typically take my time to ensure that my hair is not only coated with the conditioner, but also saturated with lots and lots of water. This helps me detangle easier and faster, but also leaves my hair very soft, which is what I want in a conditioner. I also don't leave my conditioner in my hair until the end of times. I think by the time I apply the products and then take my time detangling, tangling my hair it's plenty of time for the conditioner to do its job if not then maybe you need another conditioner girl i don't know before i proceed with a detangling tool i like to take my time to separate my hair with my fingers first i take care of all the big tangles i remove most of the shedded hair all before i officially detangle i will die on this hill be gentle and finger detangle your hair first before you go with a tool and your hair will thank you later i don't care what nobody said i will always finger detangle first before i use a tool I think natural hair care is mainly about how you handle your hair. You can have all the expensive products in the world, but if you are rough with how you detangle your hair or how you handle it, they aren't going to save you. You will still have breakage because, well, you are breaking your hair. Anyways, to detangle, I've been loving the Pattern Beauty Paddle Brush. I know they have an actual detangling brush, but I've never used it. I love the paddle brush. I find that it's of quality, it doesn't tug at my hair, the bristle don't bend, it's not shredding my hair, it's not pulling on my hair, it just does its job. Sis, shows up to work, does her work, and then clocks out. Once that's done, I go ahead and rinse out and move on to styling. This is the part that trips most people up, I find. How do I style my natural hair? How do I wear my hair? Personally, I think styling starts with your mindset because a lot of us don't like to wear our natural hair, or at least not in its natural state.
By the way, I applied my leave-in conditioner in a light, light oil to my hair this time. This is the very, very first time that I use a raw oil since I dropped oil and butters nearly three years ago. But this one is so light, it felt more like a serum than an oil. And I only focused on my end. In case you're wondering, I ended up not styling my hair right away. I went to the gym and then came back to finish this job. Once I applied the products to my hair, I went ahead and put my hair back into the same flat twist that y'all saw at the beginning. I have been loving styling my hair this way because it's such a low effort style that I can quickly dress up. I find it to be really elegant, but then again, mindset. Most natural hairstyles are viewed as childish, but who decided that? Why do we view anything that have to do with our natural hair as less than, or not good enough, or childish? And then we complain that our hair isn't acting right when we try to push it into styles that it doesn't naturally do. Hmm. Too much for this video? Maybe. Let's get back on track. So proud to say that my edges have grown back postpartum. I was worried there for a second, seeing how bald they were, but they are flourishing now and I love it. To do my edges though, I used an edge control and I lay them down when needed. I don't do it every day because we all know the fastest way to lose your edges is to lay them down. But when I do my makeup and want a little razzle dazzle, the edge control comes out. Now we all know 4C edges are built differently. If you think a little gel, a little mousse is gonna keep them together, you clearly don't have 4C edges. And the one that's been keeping my edges laid, slayed, and to the side, I just dropped it. It's this one by Shea Moisture. I don't know if I've ever used an edge control that has been controlling my edges like this one does. Oh my God. It does everything that it's supposed to do and more. It has coconut oil, silk protein, and flax seed. I love it because it's nice and thick. It's sticky, it's tacky. And when you get it on your edges, you see, <laughs> do I need to say more? Your edges are gonna stay put. I like to add it at the beginning of some of my braids or a flat twist in my case because it gets everything to lay nice and flat, especially as your braids starts to get a little old. You know, like right around here. Gives you a nice shine. If you use a lot, it is going to flake a little bit, but if you use a reasonable amount, you're fine. Depending on how much time I have, I will tie my edges down, but I can get away with not doing it. Crazy, right? I know. All right then, let me do my skincare and I'll be back. And that's it, that's how I wanna keep taking care of my hair. I just wanna do the things that I've always done. At the end of the day, this is what's going to set you up for success. Consistency, of course, and just being in tune with your hair. So if something's happening, you catch it first and you're able to pinpoint where the issue is happening as well as what you can do about it. Having that knowledge of your hair is what is going to truly set you apart and allow you to take care of your hair in ways that you've never done it before. For example, if you can look at your regimen and customize it for you. So say you don't like to pre-poo, so you don't pre-poo, but you love a nice leave-in, so you do that. You want a deep condition when needed, you can do that. Like just being able to go back and forth and ask your hair, what do you need right now? And then answering that question is what's going to set you up for success. And that's how I wanna move with my hair. I feel like I got sucked into this no oil and butter thing, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I shouldn't say that. When it was introduced to me, it was really hard for me to wrap my mind around it, but I'm glad I did. It really changed my perspective a little bit when it comes to my natural hair because there's a lot of things that I was doing that I really thought I needed to do but as it turns out I don't actually need to do it for example raw shea butter I don't have to use raw shea butter and I never imagined a time in my life where I wouldn't be using shea butter in my hair at least in its raw form I still use well formulated products I still use thick products I still use products that have oils within the first five ingredients I'm gonna use a butter if I have to I'm gonna use oils now if I have to I just started reintroducing oils a little bit just towards the ends of my hair. So not like bathing my hair in oils like I used to, but if there is an oil that I wanna use, I'm gonna use it. So I'm not going to be restrictive with my routine as I've been over the past couple of years. Not that I was so strict because I did use a lot of different products and I feel like that's what really helped my hair thrive throughout this whole ordeal. And also being consistent with my routine. I will always be in my hair. And right now I've been loving you doing these type of low manipulative style just because I have an eight month old baby and it works well for me. I don't have to worry about my hair during the week and I don't have to worry about 
my wash and go looking a little wonky wonka towards the end of the week either and with this if anything happens and i need to stretch my hair routine and i'm not gonna do it on a weekly basis i feel like my hair is tucked away and protected this may just become jen's signature hair at this point anyways thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it let me know how your hair is doing and if you tweaked anything in your routine anything that you added anything that you're enjoying or not enjoying let me know down below and i'll see you in my next one bye girl